Continuation, Application of the Perfect Redemption Plan, Part 6, page 76, Chapter 2, 18, Reveling or Carousing. Revel, according to the Webster Dictionary, is to feast with loose and clamorous merriment, to carouse, to act bacchanalian. Bacchanalian is from Bacchus, the Greek deity or demon of wine and reveling. A bacchanalian is one who indulges in drunken revels, a drunkard, one who is noisy and riotous when intoxicated, a feast with loose and noisy jollity. Some men ruin the fabric of their bodies by incessant revels. So you see, people who like drinking parties are under the influence of a demon, even Bacchus. They will drink and become noisy and riotous. People who like going to pubs, who like going to nightclubs, when they do not go to a pub or a nightclub, they feel like they are going through a withdrawal, like a junkie goes through a withdrawal. It is a demon. I, Jerry, was there. I know how it feels. I used to be in pubs and in nightclubs from Tuesday to Sunday morning. On Monday, when the pubs and nightclubs were closed, I was going through withdrawal. Thank God that I was delivered from that demon Bacchus. I was really in bondage. The Bible says the wages of sin is death. But I tell you, the path of sin is bondage, captivity and enslavement. For the Bible says, For when they speak great swelling words of vanity, they lure through the lusts of the flesh, by unbridled lust the ones who were escaping from those who live in error, promising them liberty, they themselves are the slaves of corruption. For by whom any one has been overcome, even to this one, he has been enslaved. 2 Peter 2 verse 18 to 19 So the world promises you fun, liberty, you can enjoy yourself. But the truth is you are in bondage and you cry out for help and you sink deeper in the miry clay that is under your feet in that spiritual dungeon where the devil has cast you into a closed prison or a deep, dark place of confinement. Jeremiah was cast into one of those dungeons. It was a pit with no water in it, so that you die of thirst, even spiritual thirst. There was only mud in that dungeon or pit, and Jeremiah was sinking into that mud. Jeremiah 38 verse 5 to 6 You will die slowly in that pit and sink into the mud. That is a picture of what reveling does in the lives of people. Thank God, Ebed Melek, the Ethiopian eunuch, pleaded the cause of Jeremiah and let down a rope into that dungeon to lift him out of the pit. Jeremiah 38 verse 7 to 13 You need help, my friend, to get out of that dark prison where you are, for no reveler will enter the kingdom of God. They will all go to hell. Revelry starts by only drinking. And then you start smoking. And then you start using drugs. It is that demon Bacchus that is behind all that. You are always looking for new ways to party loosely. I started to drink first of all, and after that I was smoking. Thank God I was delivered from that demon. Many of my friends went on to use drugs. That devil is always driving you to get high. Sexual immorality also works hand in hand with the drinking, smoking and drugs. Just like Jeremiah needed Epic Melech, which means servant of the king, to lift him out of that dungeon, you need a servant of King Jesus to lift you out of that dungeon when you are born again by making King Jesus Lord over your life. As David says, I waited patiently for the Lord, and he inclined unto me and heard my cry. 
He brought me up also out of the horrible pit, out of the miry clay, and set my feet upon a rock, and established my goings. Psalm 40, verse 1 to 2. And he has put a new song in my mouth, not the songs of the pubs and nightclubs that glorify the devil in his evil works, but even praise unto our God. Many shall see it and fear, and shall trust in the Lord. Psalm 40, verse 3. Peter encourages us who are now born again, and who used to live in sin, saying, For we have spent enough of our past lifetime in doing the will of the Gentiles, or heathen nations, when we walked in lewdness or lasciviousness, lusts, excess of wine or drunkenness, drinking parties, carousing or revelries, and abominable idolatries. In these things they are surprised or find it strange that you are not running with them into the same flood of dissipation or excess of right, blaspheming or speaking evil of you, but they shall give account to him who is ready to judge the living and the dead. 1 Peter 4 verse 3 to 5 So why is it that after we are born again, some among us are still running with the heathens in the same flood of dissipation. This ought not to be so. Peter is not saying that you should not have a party. You can organize your birthday party, you can celebrate an occasion with friends, a baby dedication, a graduation, and you must celebrate your marriage and dance, for it is the second greatest day of your life after the day you were born again, which is the greatest day of your life. Christians are moderate in everything they do. You can listen to secular songs, but you need to read the lyrics and see whether they are worshipping the devil and are full of lust or it is just a nice song about life, love, etc. Not all secular music or movies are from the devil. You need to read the content and if it is glorifying the devil in his works, you know it is not for you. The truth is, when you are born again, you will have fewer desires for secular songs, but you will be singing unto the Lord, because the Lord has put a new song in your mouth, even the praise of our Lord. Psalm 40, verse 3. Chapter 2, 19. Sodomites, Homosexuals and Bisexuals. The homosexual is one who is attracted by the same gender and lies down carnally with a person of the same gender. Male homosexuals are called in our century gays and female homosexuals are called lesbians. A bisexual is a person who has a sexual attraction and lies down with both genders. A sodomite is a person who practices sodomy or anal sex. Whether he is a male or a female, it does not make any difference. It is from the city of Sodom. The inhabitants of Sodom were called Sodomites. In Genesis 19, two angels came to visit the city of Sodom, and they lodged in the house of righteous Lot. The men of Sodom, the Sodomites, wanted to lie down with the two angels. As it is written, before Lot, his wife, his two daughters, and the two angels who visited him lay down, the men of the city of Sodom, both old and young, all the people from every quarter surrounded the house of Lot. They called to Lot and said to him, Where are the men who came to you tonight? Bring them out to us that we may know them carnally. Genesis 19 verse 4 to 5 Homosexuality is not a biological thing. It is a demon inside a person. It is because people have rejected the knowledge of God. That is why the devil took advantage of them to commit that abomination in the sight of God. Paul tells us they changed the truth of God into a lie and they worshipped and served the created thing more than the Creator who is blessed forever. Amen.
For this cause, God gave them up to dishonorable affections. For even their women changed the natural use into that which is against nature. And likewise also the men, leaving the natural use of the woman, burned in their lust toward one another, males with males, working out shamefulness, and receiving in themselves a recompense which it was fitting for their error. And even as they did not think fit to have God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a reprobate mind to do the things not right, being filled with all unrighteousness, fornication, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, being full of envy, murder, quarrels, deceit, evil habits, becoming whisperers, backbiters, haters of God, insolent, proud, braggarts, inventors of evil things, disobedient to parents, undiscerning, perfidious, without natural affection, unforgiving, unmerciful, who, knowing the righteous order of God, that those practicing such things are worthy of death, not only do them, but have pleasure in those practicing them. Romans 1 verse 25 to 32. They will try to explain it through science and nature, that it is their hormones that are biologically attracting them to the same gender, and even in nature there are some beasts which are homosexual, and they take pictures of those beasts which are copulating with other beasts of the same gender. Thus they justify their homosexuality. Yes, it is a spirit of the beast that is in them. Satan is the beast, described in the book of Revelation. He has deceived them through what is falsely called science, that it was right for them and natural for them to be homosexuals. It is because they have rejected God and his knowledge that God has given them to a reprobate mind to do those things. We know the righteous order of God, that those practicing such things are worthy of death. Not only do them, but have pleasure in those practicing them. So if you are a Christian, and you are condoning sin, even taking pleasure in those who are practicing sin, not just homosexuality, but any other sin, you are sharing in their sin. If you do not have a reprobate mind, you will agree with Jesus who says, From the beginning of the creation, God made them male and female. For this cause, a man shall leave his father and mother, and shall cleave to his wife, and the two of them shall be one flesh. So then they are no longer two, but one flesh. Therefore, what God has joined together, let not man put apart. Mark 10, verse 6 to 9. So God did not make and join them male and male, or female and female. God's marriage is male and female, Adam and Eve. Not Adam and Steve, or Anne and Eve, but Adam and Eve. The city of Sodom was destroyed in Genesis 19. Homosexuality was just the effects of the fact that they had rejected God and the knowledge of God. Pride was found in Sodom. Being proud according to the word of God is to reject God and his word, to go and serve idols and walk contrary to the written word of God. Ezekiel says, Behold, all who use proverbs shall use this proverb against you, saying, As the mother, so is her daughter. You are your mother's daughter, who despises her husband and her sons. And you are the sister of your sisters, who despise their husbands and their sons. Your mother was a Hittite, and your father an Amorite, and your older sister is Samaria, she and her daughters who dwell at your left hand. And your younger sister who dwells at your right hand 
is Sodom and her daughters. Yet you have not walked according to their ways, nor done according to their hateful deeds, but, as if it were a very little thing, you were corrupted more than they were in all your ways. As I live, says the Lord Jehovah, Sodom, your sister, she nor her daughters has not done as you have done, you and your daughters. Behold, this was the iniquity of your sister Sodom, pride. Fullness of bread and abundance of idleness was in her and in her daughters. Nor did she strengthen the hand of the poor and needy, and they were haughty and did abominable things before me, so I turned away as I saw fit. Ezekiel 16 verse 44 to 50 so, homosexuality is deeply embedded in idol worship, which is of the devil. In the Old Testament, homosexuals were sometimes called sons or children of Belial, which means worthless people, persons without a yoke, who have thrown off the yoke of God's law and will not submit to it, or unprofitable ones as wicked men are, both to God themselves and others. And sometimes they were even in the congregation of Israel like today. We have people professing to be Christians, and yet they are homosexuals. Moses said these sons or children of Belial are not truly from Israel. Likewise, today they are not born-again Christians because they do not obey the word of God. Moses said, Men... The children of Belial have gone out from among you and have drawn away those who live in their city, saying, Let us go and serve other gods which you have not known. Then you shall inquire and make search and ask carefully. And behold, if it is true and the thing is certain that such an abomination is done among you, you shall surely strike those who live in that city with the edge of the sword, destroying it completely, and all that is in it and all the cattle of it with the edge of the sword. Deuteronomy 13 verse 13 to 15 so those children of Belial are serving other gods, which are demons, not Jehovah. Even today, someone who professes to be a Christian and is a homosexual has not Jesus in his or her life, but a demon. He or she must be born again. In the book of Judges 19, there were sons of Belial among the tribe of Benjamin. They wanted to rape the young Levite who was in the house of an old man in their city. The old man brought the Levite into his house and mixed fodder for the asses, and they washed their feet and ate and drank. They were making their hearts merry, and, behold, the men of the city, certain sons of Belial, set upon the house all around and beat at the door and spoke to the master of the house, the old man, saying, Bring out the man that came to your house so that we may know him. And the man, the master of the house, went out to them and said to them, No, my brothers, I pray you do not do evil, since this man has come into my house. Do not do this foolish sin. Judges 19, verse 21 to 23. Yes, homosexuality is evil, and it is a foolish sin embedded in idol worship. When you read Judges 20, the other tribes of Israel came to war against Benjamin to destroy all the sons of Belial and those who approved of them by refusing to correct them. But in the New Testament we do not go about killing people, no matter what their sin is, as we have explained in the section on murders of the works of the flesh. Otherwise we would also be murdering all adulterers, all fornicators, not just homosexuals, 
all who practice sexual immorality will go to hell, not just homosexuals, but also fornicators, adulterers, pedophiles, sodomites, rapists, those practicing bestiality. They all need to be born again and forsake their evil ways and foolish sins. In the days of the reign of Rehoboam, the son of Solomon, Judah did evil in the sight of Jehovah, and they provoked him to jealousy with their sins, which they had committed above all that their fathers had done. For they also built high places for themselves, and images and asherahs on every high hill, and under every green tree. And also the Sodomites were in the land. They did according to all the hateful things of the nations which Jehovah cast out before the sons of Israel. 1 Kings 14, 22-24 Now a high place is a place of worship. Judah made places of worship for themselves, not for Jehovah. The places of worship they built were to their images or idols and their asherahs. Now Asherah is a Phoenician goddess and the image or statue of that goddess, and in those places of worship of their idols and of the Phoenician goddess Asherah, they had sodomites. Now the translation of the word sodomite here is the Hebrew word Kodesh, which signifies a perverted man or woman who practices sodomy and prostitution as a religious ritual to worship those idols. So when you went to that high place of the idol, they had male homosexuals, and you needed to lie with them to worship that idol. In the days of King Josiah's reign over Judah, the king sent... And they gathered to him all the elders of Judah and of Jerusalem. And the king went up into the house of Jehovah. And all the men of Judah and all the people of Jerusalem with him, and the priests and the prophets, and all the people from the small even to the great. And he read all the words of the book of the covenant which was found in the house of Jehovah in their ears. And the king stood by a pillar and made a covenant before Jehovah to walk after Jehovah and to keep his commandments and his testimonies and his statutes with all his heart and all his soul to perform the words of this covenant which was written in this book. And all the people stood to the covenant. And the king commanded Hilkiah, the high priest, and the priests of the second order, and the doorkeepers to bring forth out of the temple of Jehovah all the vessels which were made for Baal, and for the Asherah, and for all the host of heaven. And he burned them outside Jerusalem in the fields of Kidron, and carried the ashes of them to Bethel. And he put down the idol-worshipping priests, whom the kings of Judah had ordained to burn incense in the high places, in the cities of Judah, and in the places around Jerusalem. He also put down those who burned incense to Baal, to the sun, and to the moon, and to the planets, and to all the host of heavens. And he brought out the Asherah from the house of Jehovah outside Jerusalem to the torrent Kidron, and burned it at the torrent Kidron, and stamped it to powder, and threw the powder of it on the graves of the sons of the people. And he broke down the houses of the Sodomites, which were by the house of Jehovah, where the woman wove coverings for the Asherah. 2 Kings 23 verse 1 to 7 the word sodomites here is the Hebrew word kodeshim, which is the plural of kodesh. So in the days of Josiah, in the temple that Solomon built for the Lord, idols were found there, priests of idols were found there, and they were worshipping idols inside the temple of God. They were having male and female homosexuals who were practicing sodomy inside the temple of the Lord. It was only when the king read the written word of God that he realized that their practice was not of the Lord but of demons. 
So he put those priests of idols out of the temple of God. He also removed their idols out of the temple of God and burnt those idols out of the city of Jerusalem. Homosexuality and sodomy is deeply embedded in idol worship. It is a demon that is behind it. Unfortunately, even today in churches, we have people who profess to be Christians but are sodomites or homosexuals or live in sexual immorality. They need to read their Bible like King Josiah did and repent of their sins and make a covenant with God not to worship those demons anymore. Those sodomites were also bisexual, for as the oracle of the idol dictated, they would either lie with a priest or with a priestess. If you are or know someone who is a homosexual, a bisexual or a sodomite, today is your day to be set free of that evil and foolish sin. You will be made free of that demon, even the sodomite spirit. Please lay your hand on your head and pray this prayer out loud with me. Father, I thank you because today I have known the truth that being a sodomite is of the devil. I repent of my evil and foolish sin. Cleanse me in the blood of Jesus and make me as white as snow, create in me a clean heart and renew a right spirit within me, no longer the sodomite spirit, but the Holy Spirit of God. Cleanse my conscience from dead works, even from being a sodomite, by the blood of the Lamb to serve you, the living God, acceptably, according to your written word like Josiah determined to serve you. Now I speak to you, sodomite spirit. The Lord Jesus rebuke you. I curse you in the name of Jesus Christ. I command you to leave my body immediately and never return in the name of Jesus. The Lord Jesus has made me free, and I am free indeed from being enslaved by the sodomite spirit. Thank you, Jesus, for healing me, because by your stripes I was healed. I bless you, Father God, for giving me a new start in life. I will never be the same again, and my life is transformed to serve you acceptably. In Jesus' name, Amen. Psalm 51.10 Hebrews 9 verse 14 Jude 1 verse 9, John 8, verse 36, and 1 Peter 2, verse 24. To be continued.